So real quick on how I came up with these dimensions here, which is the top and bottom frame. I basically measured from, from this end all the way across to this end. And it was just under 48 and a half inches. So I want to make sure my frame is slightly larger than that. And I also measured uh, from here to here to get that dimension. So if you look at my top portion, you see 48 and a half. And then I'm going to sandwich in a 15 and a half. Now it's actually 18 and a half inches from here to here, but you have to accommodate for um, the one and a half inches of the thickness of each two by four side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this wood out, which is uh, the four pieces of each uh, portion of the frame, and then my uh, vertical. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with um, how to cut wood. You should probably know how to do that if you're building a stand, but um, Make sure you use a square and uh, then make sure you, you know, you mark your, uh, your lines with the square so you get a nice straight line. And uh, in my case, I'm going to do um, mark up most of my wood, make my cuts, and then I'll start the assembly process. So what that does is it allows me to um, do all my cuts at once so I can get all my cutting done, see what kind of pieces I have, make sure they're all uh, square and uh, the correct length and then I can start assembly. Okay, got all my pieces cut. Uh, these eight pieces are gonna be the top and bottom um, headers or railings. And then uh, these boards are gonna be uh, the supports. So these ones on the bottom here, ones on the bottom are gonna be the uh, vertical supports. And then these shorter ones here are gonna be the ones that hold the load of the uh, top and bottom frame. So if you can imagine the top frame is gonna sit on here, the bottom frame is gonna sit here, and then this piece is gonna get wedged in or mounted in, and it's gonna be the, that's the most important piece. It's gonna be holding the load of the whole tank. So uh, next thing I gotta do is assemble it. I'm gonna be screwing it together and uh, gluing okay. it. Okay, got the first top rail done, and I just kinda placed it over my tank so you could uh, see how it lines up. You can see it fits really nice. Just a slight bit over, but that's what you want. You don't want to go under. So um, that's done. So I'm going to assemble the next part of the frame. The little trick I use is uh, I pre-drill my screws. So then when I line everything up, I just go and it's a lot quicker. All right, so I got the stand uh, dry set. So I haven't put any screws into the uh, top and bottom rails. I just wanted to give a little demonstration of how it's going to fit together. So i uh, got a couple temporary clamps here. But um, you can see this was my top rail and then the bottom rail. And then my design was uh, that these vertical supports, if you notice, they're holding up all the force. The four, four corners have all the force. Uh, and these inside ones you can see they're really just uh, holding the frame to the uh, supports. They're really not meant to uh, support any load. So the cool thing I kind of wanted to show you was this is really modular too. So um, as long as you have those supports, you can, uh, this is just all screwed together. So you could remove your supports. So, sorry. So here's the support right there. So if I wanted to build a different size stand, I could just build a different size uh, top frame and use the same supports. Or if I had to move this to a basement or something, I could simply unscrew uh, the supports and then take the parts down like that. So it's super modular. I, I use this design all the time. Um, the other thing you can do is you could put a uh, uh, fascia board around it uh, some B board or whatever you want. It trims it up really nicely. So you can do that or you can leave it as a um, um, kind of a fish room stand. Uh, the other thing, the last thing I'm gonna do after I put this all together is I'm gonna make some triangulation, which means we're gonna put a couple cross members on the back and the sides so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't kind of wobble or shift. So uh, then it would be super structurally sound and uh, you got an easy stand. It took about, um, I would say about six two by fours, maybe a little bit less, two by four by sevens.